Okay, different kind of video today. I just wanted to show you guys, I had a few people, both in person and over Instagram, ask me, you know, what does a typical day look like for me as far as how I eat and so on? You know, from all the pictures that you post, it seems like, you know, you only eat once a day and so on. Technically, yes, I do. But I'm basically just making this just to show, you know, what food I make and what I measure at. Uh, let me see if I can find the measurements really quick. Okay. But yeah, typically I'll eat like once or twice a day, and the meal pretty much look like this. Um, the wrap that I'm using is actually a gluten-free wrap at about 110 calories, which is about 52 grams worth of it. Then I just use some uh, green leaf lettuce at about 35 grams, cucumber at 78 grams, tomato at 61 grams, bell pepper at 51 grams, uh, liquid egg whites, once it's cooked, about 51 grams. And then cashew milk, about four, uh, 500 milliliters a pair, 410 grams for the pair, and then 30 grams of protein powder. And then 95 grams of carrots. But, uh, yeah, I was gonna eat some sweet potato with this, but as you can see, it was still cooking. Um, but yeah, I just wrap it all up, and, uh, just chomp away. And funny enough, I actually watch, uh, competitive eaters as I eat my food just to kind of not think about the portion size so much just kind of just watch other people eat these massive amounts I don't have an explanation for it but um yeah that kumbacha chi kumbacha I think it's called I think it's like 50 calories total and it's like probiotics and so on and here's my favorite the halo top um like I've said in previous videos before, this is specifically the dairy-free um, version of it. There's no soy, there's no dairy, and it's substituting milk with coconut milk, which is actually pretty delicious if you ask me. Um, see, I'm actually trying to edit this as I'm doing this, but either way, just thought I'd put a little commentary here. Um, but yeah, this is what a typical meal is. After I'm done, I'm usually pretty full. In fact, I'm still drinking my protein powder and my uh, tea thing right now as I'm recording. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I pretty much pile through this ice cream. It's literally my favorite. So uh, I'll leave the commentary to my actual self and let you guys watch the rest of the video. Um, and as far as calories, uh, it's about 700 for this whole meal, just so you know. All right, I had most of my meal just now. Um, now I just gotta finish up my cashew milk and my protein powder drink, which I think I only used 30 grams with. And then I picked this up earlier. I don't know how good it tastes. This kombucha, organic and raw ginger aid. Um, one of my buddy's wife actually drank this a while back. Yeah, it's basically just full of uh, enzymes, probiotics, um, electrolytes, that kind of thing. And right here on the side, it actually says, um, where does it say it? Oh yeah, it says, it's a fermented tea that is naturally occurring alcohol. Do not consume if you are avoiding alcohol due to pregnancy, allergies, sensitivities, or religious beliefs. So hopefully, <laughs> But let's actually give this a try real quick. It's got this stuff that sits in the bottom. I mean, I just shook it up, but it's weird. But yeah, she said this was the only good flavor. The other ones apparently don't taste that good. Oh, oh, oh. I did not know this was carbonated. This is carbonated? Well, I just shook it. Oh! Okay, so I guess I don't shake it. Does it say shake? Well, it smells like gin- Whoa, it smells like ginger ale. Am I supposed to shake this? I'm really getting the idea that I don't right now. I 
It doesn't say shake, so kind of messed that one up. There we go. Best by two months from now. Hmm. And this whole thing is like 50 calories. So I guess that's good. Been looking for like a vegan or vegetarian, mainly vegan uh, probiotic drink just cause I'm trying to avoid dairy right now. Okay. That is not bad. It tastes like ginger ale with no sugar in it. I'll probably save some of most of this for later. That's pretty good actually. I like that. And my protein shake. Um, if you guys are curious, it's made by a company called Vega. It doesn't have any soy. It's all plant-based, uh, no dairy. And every scoop is like 20 grams of protein at about 100 or 110 calories, which is not bad if you ask me. And it's vanilla flavored, so I like it. But that's pretty much a what a typical meal looks like for me. Um, I do typically eat sweet potatoes, but when I got home, I still hadn't cooked them yet, so they're not really ready. So I kind of just substitute with my protein shake and this kombucha. Um, but typically I'll eat about anywhere from 350 to about 400 grams of sweet potatoes, which comes out to about 350 calories, which is pretty high for sweet potatoes, but it's got enough substance to actually make me full. And like you saw, I basically inhaled that halo top because it's literally my favorite, but that's also dairy free, soy free, uh, basically vegan. So, um, and I haven't added up the calories for this meal yet. I'll probably put it somewhere here with all the macros and so on. Cause this is my first meal of the day and it's like just now 4.01 PM. So probably go out for like a walk or something, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay. Now the sweet potatoes are ready. Well, looks like this can be dinner in about three hours, so whatever. It's not like I'm mad or anything.